Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, season 13 finale of Rivals of Waterdeep. Super Ooh, excited. What? The end of our... so what? How? How is that possible? Uh, awesome? We're already here. Don't yeah, know. We're, yeah, we're at the end of our uh, our current Strixhaven journey. We all mm -hmm. have education, about to get our diplomas. Yeah, yeah. About to walk away with a lot of student loans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh my yeah, God. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Actually, are, are we though? Because we are extremely rich. Yes, yes. It is also very <laughs> fair. We should yeah, pay but... off everybody else's loans. Uh. <laughs> Well, we still signed up for loans. Uh, yeah, yeah we still still <laughs> it's for your credit. It's good for the credit score. Yeah, exactly. Like it's good for the credit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So sad. Why are we telling <laughs> this lie? Stop that. <laughs> God. This episode will be taking the GRE for two hours. <laughs> oh, God. It's gonna be I awesome. Quit. That's too uh, real. Yeah. No. Nope. So, uh, no. Nope. Was I like, oh, a standardized test? <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's uh, introduce all of our uh, players uh, with their number two pencils ready. It is a computerized test, but you still got to bring a number two pencil just to keep mm -hmm, school. Mm -hmm. um, let's start with Latia. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Latia Jaquise, and today I will be playing uh, everybody's favorite Eric Coker Monk, Tahani, who's majoring in art. Oh, is that what we're doing? Incredible. Yeah, and my pronouns in hers or she, her. <laughs> Masood. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. I play Gazric Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman, detective druid construct. Um, and my pronouns and Gazric's pronouns are he, him. Gazric is getting a degree in um, logistics, majoring in logistics, as well uh, as uh, socialist studies with a minor in horticulture. Oh, yes. Uh, Brian. Hi, uh, I am Brian. I play Virgil, the um, SMR Storm Sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. Mine are he, they. Uh, Virgil is actually valedictorian, even though he manages to stay up drinking all night, never seems to study, but aces every exam. Magic. I feel that. <laughs> magic. Make magic. <laughs> sure. Genio. Hi, everybody. I'm Okenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hens. Uh, I use he, him pronouns. I am playing Kent, our tiefling phantom rogue, who also uses he, him pronouns. Kent is majoring in history with a minor in archaeological studies focusing on ancient gods of disease and poison and a certificate of concentration in historical fashion. <laughs> And that certificate and the degree. I love, oh, I love yeah. it. Do you make that yeah. own major or was that was that a part of the curriculum? You're joking, but like that structure of degree is basically, I mean, not those subjects, but like yeah. that structure is the ridiculous paper I got away from college with. Hell yeah. A minor in <laughs> a certificate. And nice. all I wanted to do was be in the music theater program. But right, right, right. Process. Anyway. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, and Tanya. I don't even know how I'm going to top that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause I'm like, that's giving me like, I used to work in academia flashbacks. Huh? Yeah, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Tanya. I play Sleeze Historio, your paladin ranger with a skosh of uh, barbarian. And I am majoring in philosophy religion with a minor in orcish studies. Oh, oh. nice. Love that. I love that. Uh, my pronouns in Sleeze are she, her. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Shreve, I'm your DM, he, him, uh, obviously a variety of pronouns for the various NPCs and stuff. Also play Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock, he, him as well. Um, why don't we start with sharing some stuff about the Patreon? Oh, that's me. That's <laughs> yes, you. Yes, uh, that's you. You want me to start today? Yeah, I'm, Patreon. Uh, okay. We yes. got a Patreon and you can be part of it. You can wow, have brilliant. rivals every month and you can get all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and we've been telling you about it all season. So what you should actually do is ask the other folks uh, that you know who are around you that mm -hmm. have supported our Patreon what they think of Sharif's DM notes and our after show. And we haven't been doing these upgraded tiers for three months, so nobody's gotten merch yet. But I bet when they do, they'll <laughs> love that too. Uh -huh. uh, you should go to patreon.com slash rivals of Waterdeep uh, and help support us. Anything to add? Um, no. Great. Aside from give us money. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, happened. but in a in a nice in a nice monthly sort of support kind of way because you do get a lot of those little fun bonuses. And I maintain that the ten dollar level to get our post show yeah. because if you think we're chaotic live, <laughs> you should hear us after the show. I when still feel like that's that is your best bet mm-hmm. in terms of supporting us at the ten dollar level. But we appreciate it. If it's if it's any encouragement, those after shows not edited. So like, draw <laughs> without like the immediate consequences of our actions yeah so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and yeah if if you're a, a new patron you you have quite a bit to binge on now you can just go through yeah. and listen to yep. the stuff that's, that we've been doing all season so so it's pretty cool now mm-hmm. um masood won't you hit us up with some of those ads absolutely be my delight yeah, uh, we like to give a special thank to our sponsors that make our game so much more awesome. We use D&D Beyond for digital character sheets and access to book content. You can check them out in dndbeyond.com. We got a legendary bundle giveaway in chat. Wait, oh, I think I, what is that? We actually have three legendary bundles giveaways happening in chat right now. You have to be here live. So get on in there, submit, 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 and we'll try to get those out to you. Um, our dice, trays, and vaults are provided by Wormwood. Use code RIVALS for free domestic shipping at wormwoodgaming.com. And we're so proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. I am on the road and I don't have my dice with me, but I'm sure some of the other rivals can show off theirs. Check them out at dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off. If you're looking for geeky gear, you got to check out Stormcrow. Any nerdy swag, they got it all. Go to shop.stormcrow.com. Use the code RIVALS for 15% off. And if you scour the back pages of the website, you may even find the legendary hidden item, Masood's Mug. So see if you can find it. Good luck. Uh, it's currently on the road. Maybe it comes back to you. Um, up next, we also want to thank out the folks. Uh, we want to thank the folks that make us sound oh so silky smooth. It's the Rivals Crew Blue Microphones. Go to crew.bluemic.com slash rivals to get access to this incredibly great audio content. Mm. <gasps> We are partnered with Idle Champions by Codename Entertainment. Type exclamation code for this week's free Electrum Chess. And don't forget to unlock Shaka, Selyse, Dahani, Gazric, and Fenris, Disco, and Pest. All of them are available for you uh, on Idle Champions in any platform that runs them, which is truly any and every. Um, we also want to thank um, folks at VoiceMod for supporting us. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, Go look at them. They're wonderful. Um, they provide a little extra sauce, a little extra zhuzh to any time you want to provide any narration or voiceover work. Um, Voice Mod has your back, and they will help you get to where you need to go. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, all of our sponsors uh, as of now. So I'll throw it back to the one, the only, Sharif. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. And I will throw it to someone who is mid-laugh. Sorry. Uh, Hi. Get your hand directly- off that button. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry uh, was, ray the whoosh hey, am i i don't know <laughs> <laughs> we are officially skipping the whoosh no no tradition that's impossible oh, that we can't you just kicked my puppy dude what are you doing <laughs> no uh, hold on that's not no, oh, oh, so the whoosh is preventative. If I don't do the whoosh, then well, there's a good chance that we stand to die in session. This yeah, is, well, what, I'm, this is what I hear. That's what I hear, too. It's, we it's can't even problem. do the recap without the whoosh, so basically it's us just sitting here for <laughs> yeah, the next two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is an order. All right, everybody, get your whooshing apparatuses ready. Uh, please whoosh responsibly. Also, you can do quiet whooshes if you're not feeling up to a major whoosh today. It's okay. We appreciate your support. Oh my God. We're ready. Oh my God. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it has revenge. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Def- chat whoosh. Yeah. Definitely roll damage for that. Ah! <laughs> it's actually uh, a D100, so who knows how much damage. <laughs> Jesus. And Gosford died in the top of the show. <laughs> Taking the shoulder out. God, right. It's very right. midsummer. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's recap. Uh, Episode nine. I, I know it might seem a little bit away since uh, y'all had a Gen Con adventure. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can only remember yeah. the fever dream where we went to uh, an island and were accosted by Gary the Wizard and a puppet. That's all so I the, remember. For the record, wasn't a dream. 
as Latia pointed out, canonically, it occurred between <laughs> season 12 and season 13. So it's just a memory that maybe feels like a dream. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, what, what, what occurred? Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it was a bit of a transition episode. Yes, 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 yes. Um, um, there was a path with yeah. some fastness there were some people uh, who started was, in we, water deep right we yeah, are, uh, yeah. yeah. yes mm-hmm. yeah yeah everybody started at the manor um mm-hmm. really trying to decide do we do we do do we take bd to strixhaven or do yeah. we go to the badlands that was kind of the main stuff mm-hmm. um y'all decided to go to the badlands right. um yeah there was yeah. there was more conversation with bd yeah. to let them know that we have decided that if it's a place that you really really want to go we're going to make sure it's safe and that was that was then us collectively saying okay badlands first <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. gotta we had to make sure that it was safe for bd um safe and yeah we just like hopped on over real fast and then left the strixhaven campus to out of like one of their like gates towards the badlands um and we realized i think we rolled okay to make it a little bit more comfortable for us in terms of nature and other things but um it the pathway that we were on seemed to encourage our travel it uh as we were heading in that direction the kindest way to put that yeah yeah yeah, absolutely absolutely uh it was just it's the moving walkway of the airport in real life uh it was just like giving us a little extra boost in the direction that we wanted to go now now the question is were you standing on the right or were you walking on the left uh okay like excuse me walkway what was that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. walking on the left because we were moving people people who don't understand the left and right get so mad when you try to move like you try to get around them and it's like i know it's moving but i'm moving on the moving so it's moving square move no excuse me (laughs) me and my gaggle of friends need to take up the entire walkway all right only if they're doing a tiktok (laughs) only if they're doing a tiktok (laughs) also i've never referred to a a group of friends as gaggle and i will i like that yeah friends a gaggle of friends yeah um, so yeah. so um so yeah yeah y'all, y'all basically simultaneously being pushed away mm-hmm. from Strixhaven and pulled toward um this uh area um you you saw each each other kind of flattening and getting weird like the honey tr- 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 tried to fly above it and noticed that it was even faster than her incredible mm, yeah. flying speed which was yeah. extremely rude Right. To, <laughs> it was very rude. <laughs> yeah. To push the Patreon and also uh, Sharif's excellent recent Gen Con Online panel that was yeah. only injecting some science and physics into our D and D that was pretty lit. <laughs> <laughs> that I was so happy. It was very cool. Yeah, it was. It was a little, little, uh, little, little hidden thing there. Bonus. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, once you got to the Badlands, um, there was a basically a big, massive gate. Um, and y'all f- found out that, that, uh, who did this? I think it was Dosric, I think that, no, 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 there, there, there was somebody that dug under the ground or that oh. something under the ground. Oh, uh, I think, um, you know, I, I cast the uh, mold. Earth, oh, you moved. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I just like, moved, I just was. moved it to see what was underneath. Um, cause right. it wasn't really a moat. It was like, kind of like, it was just like dirt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, the gate to the swamp, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so like you found some shiny stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so you uh, transported over, the gate was gone. Mm-hmm. Uh you ran into two uh pretty hapless guards. Mm-hmm. Um I actually know three. They seemed guards. really they said they all I, seemed very confident. Initially it was two or initially it was two or three, and I was very yeah. confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I think I was definitely going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I didn't write it down. <laughs> <laughs> a magic yeah Um, yeah they were in front of these massive versions of the wizard gizzard kind of uh catapult things that you had seen um but they eventually turned out to be pretty hapless um and they uh you know ended up uh you know thinking that you were uh you know new recruits Mm -hmm. right um to to the cause um so we ended with a uh a uh 
completely <laughs> butchered game that I had. <laughs> but, but, but 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 uh but but butchered by, by my own doing, you know? mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh y'all and ended up he- heading to the cave uh mm-hmm. because there, there's basically a choice of of uh two caves mm-hmm. and you, you ended up uh heading toward the cave for new recruits and that's pretty much what we ended mm-hmm. up uh last episode. So there wasn't like a lot of uh stuff. It was more of like a transition from mm-hmm. from sort of that uh manor atmosphere to this like swampy like Batlands atmosphere. Yeah. And and like just to bring in some other info that we got from some of the previous mm-hmm. episodes, uh <laughs> Bruh, who was one of the people that was from here, uh mm-hmm. kind of let us know that Mergaxor, who's a previously um um expelled student from Strixhaven from hundreds of years ago um is kind of using this as a haven for other expelled students um so so that yeah so that um you know that, that's kind of what we are what we know about this like place is, is that this is kind of the source of where these students have been kidnapped because we found that students like Lorreen were close to being expelled mm-hmm. and they they were basically trying to jump the gun and say well i'm just gonna kidnap you early you know uh that, that was uh, <laughs> that was that was a bro's idea yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, uh and the other folks yeah. so that's kind of what we're walking into here cool um so those kind of hapless folks that you um met at the beginning that look kind of like they could be guards but mm-hmm. um you could probably surmise that these are other people that were uh you know rescued mm-hmm. Uh, quote unquote by uh, McGaxer and his crew. So, all right. Anything okay. else anybody want to bring up? Any any uh, magical puppets I forgot about? Uh, <laughs> nah, nah. Most people block that away in their memory. Ain't that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only because yeah. they went without us. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ken's never allowed to talk about it for the only reason that Virgil gets upset that he wasn't at the beach with us. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, sweet. Yeah, and and uh, I'm I'm actually going now for like for those of you that haven't seen the Gen Con show, uh, just know that it was incredible, and I'm so you did a great job um, t- taking the rivals through an uh, uh, island, island adventure with music. Yeah, uh, yeah, there, there was, was so much with that was amazing. Tropical, <laughs> with some uh, tro- tropical music, um, mystery, magic, and Jimmy Buffett, y'all. That's yeah. the tagline. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I don't know. I guess I can leave it up to y'all if you yeah. want to, uh, because it did happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, it so, no. It, it it time passed and that thing occurred. Yeah. So um, Shaka wasn't there because he was off. You know, uh, off, joke uh, building. Building. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was joke building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. So yeah, you you could you could bring it up if you want. If there's anything that oh. happens to be uh, similar to it. Uh, yeah. You know, right. Okay. Great. I think this is the this is the least similar thing to the <laughs> yeah that we've done so far. <laughs> uh, it could be on an island, yeah. Uh, like the swamp turns into an island, and there's a mm. oh, no. uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so yeah, so let's uh, get in, y'all. Um, all right, y'all. So you start walking toward this cave. Hmm. Um, you see the you know as as you pass the uh, three guards, they're just kind of. Uh, they just look like they're kind of trembling. Um, they are, as I mentioned earlier, they were kind of like surrounded by all these weapons, mm. um, but they're not gathering them. They're not, you know, doing anything offensive, really. Um, but they do seem like, if you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just say with like your passive uh, skills, you would notice that as don't really look like they're proficient in any kind of guarding or defense or anything yeah. like that. They just seem like, People put in a really unfortunate like position, almost like they lost a bet or something. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you got to guard the gate. <laughs> Should have been better at Wizard Gizzard. Just yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. Like, oh, that's why um, they're practicing. They're like, yeah, like, we, got, we got, can't get stuck on guard duty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I kind of thought about um, uh, because me, I remember, and and, and I know, I know, I know they call this game different things depending on where you grew up but in new jersey we called it like wall ball yeah uh mm-hmm. where you just throw a ball off the off oh, you just throw a ball 
on, on the wall. And mm-hmm. if, 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 if you try to catch it and you miss it, um, you gotta run to the wall before yeah, yeah, yeah. someone pelts you with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so like it was kind of something that we did when uh, we were uh, bored, when uh, when uh, we had to do some 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 other stuff. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of names for, for this. Well, thing. I was about to say the East Coast okay. name is butts up, but yeah, Chief, you're curious. also from New Jersey, so I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> might have just been. It must, it must, it must change when you get across the Mid Atlantic. Yeah, 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 <laughs> It's it's like even called different things in different like parts of Jersey. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, really? Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very weird. Cool. Um, yeah. So, um, so uh, as as you descend in 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 into this cave, it kind of splits into like two parts. There's oh no the 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 uh, new recruit and, and you know there's there's very ele- elegant signage, right? So there's oh! one that, that says. I new recruit. Reaction is rubbing then, off on me. Actually, I know. The, the clear, fan. the clear communication, the instructions. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And there's another part that, that says laboratory. So there's two parts. Where would y'all like to go? Faye is gonna go to the lab. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I mean, let's be real. Okay, okay, we're all good. Like, yeah. <laughs> Faye's I mean, like, I'll see you later, baby. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you oh. can split, or you can all go to one oh, place. It doesn't look like there's anyone I that think... is uh, watching or anything. So no, I think we're all going to the laboratory. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I remember when we asked the gu- when we asked the the guards outside about like going to meet Mergaxer, they were very much like, "Well, we we don't just we're not going to take you to him." Mm-hmm. So you got to go through orientation first. I'm definitely not reading a pamphlet or a video, so we're going to the lab. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to, I'm not uh, the orientation. No. I, I, you have to, I you have to learn this. the school song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love no. the idea of everyone walking down, seeing the thing for the lab, and then turning left, and Gazrix like, continue going, and someone grabs him by the collar. And like, I don't know what So we're all heading to the lab. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Now, I imagine Faye and kent leaving everyone behind <laughs> <laughs> it's like sweet driving the party hell yeah awesome cool mm-hmm. all right so uh as you head to, to this lab you notice that um you know when you get there there's no security or anything it doesn't look like there's any kind of uh you know it's just a open door in into this lab you don't see anyone in here at all mm-hmm. Um, but what you do see is you see a bunch of, uh, things that you would expect. There's test tubes, there's flasks. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like a bunch of, of like a jars with some weird goo in in them. Uh, there's one jar that particularly appears to be just shaking a little bit. Um, and you see a bunch of the test tubes that look like they're kind of floating around or moving around, but. Uh, as you walk in, you see that there's just a bunch of uh, disembodied hands just no. carrying tubes. No. Mm-mm. From uh, wait, place, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Stop. Hold on. Are they are they, are they are they ghostly and ethereal, or are they like solid hand hands? Their hands. Are they mage ah. hands? <laughs> are they mage hands? No, they are not spectral. No, no. Hands. They, they are, are hands. disembodied. <laughs> You've been playing too much Elden Ring. I don't like <laughs> this. Sorry. This well, where am I pointing? This one goes. No, they hands. <laughs> Well, they're incredible. Well, the, yeah, yeah, they they are not like that large Elden Ring hand, which I uh, oh no, uh, uh, yeah. no, no uh, humanoid no, no, they, and or creature size typical hands. They are these are more like uh like a Adam's family uh size. oh like the thing, thing? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. well yeah. I mean they're working um, right they're they're working they're... they they look like they don't even notice you they're they're just well, moving that. things around they're I mean how would they do it? Oh, they're very good. Brian. And that's the show, y'all. That's the show. <laughs> that's it. Police want to smite uh, everything. Yeah. Um, um the, no, yeah, they... yeah, yeah. These these hands are like mixing things together. They're okay. like putting things into freezers. Oh, okay. They they haven't... Taking, they, they're working. Can they I uh... changed, yeah, they haven't changed their activity with us no. entering, right? Okay. Can I make an arcana right. check about them? Just to, I, I want to locate ideally just to see if I can the source yep. of the magic that's controlling yep. them. If it's sure. like, yep. are they bound to the laboratory or is it like uh-huh. someone else like cast this and then walked away? 
Yeah, let's roll. Uh, roll our I'm gonna do a nature check to see if I can tell where these hands came from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm just like, where's the person the hand was attached yeah, to? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would like to look for an exit. Oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this this smart. nightmare fest? <laughs> Getting out. <laughs> oh my god, the dice betrayed me. Uh, Dice were in my favor, though. I got uh, 18 plus 3, so 21. Okay. Mm, and only what did you get? Me. Twelve. And, and it was on eighteen. Then it just tipped over. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Latia, what would what, you get for looking for an exit? Uh, that's an eighteen investigation. Okay. Okay. Uh, Faye's gonna roll Arcana because she's much better Arcana than yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You son of a. <laughs> There's so, many, like, there's so many hands. Right. There's so many right. hands. I think she's like, ooh, two, test tubes. No, no, no. I, I think I, I, I think you and Faye are like having a moment together and like you're just distracted a little bit because I like, got, you know. Oh, no. Uh, Faye is not about that life in this moment. She found a lamp. She care about me. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah. So from uh, Gosrick's Arcana roll, what you can tell about these, uh, these hands is that, yes, they are actual hands mm-hmm. um, and that these are. Uh, the severed hands of uh, murderers, basically. Oh. Uh, Wait, murderers? Murderers. murderers. Okay. murderers. Yeah, I'm less, I'm less mad about it now. Yeah, we're all like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> an eye for an eye, a hand for a hand was very literal here. I fairly. Yeah. And uh, they are basically animated to continue as like a punishment to the uh, people. They are, they are animated to basically work and basically be slaves to whoever casted the uh the spell on them so uh they are just kind of mindlessly working um but like that's like the magical kind of history of them Mm, um question yeah do if there's a pair of hands do they match or are they mismatched? Like, did one person oh, lose both? No. Oh, no, oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I need to know. I mean, there are a lot of hands here, but if you, if you, if you, <laughs> it will be, I will say you don't notice any matches because there's a ton Okay. Of okay. So there's my a brain lot just of, went to, you're done not here. not like working in tandem. So it's, yeah. it's, it's like not like it's an invisible person and all you see mm-hmm. is the hands. So no, no I know like that. Individual. Yeah. There's just I a lot just... of moving hands. Stop. Okay. <laughs> um, I am would like to give Virgil sort of a look, like, so what do you want to check out? As I slowly and delicately inch towards the tables with the exciting juices. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I do want to. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, I, I, I do want to address D- Dahani's role, though. Oh, so, sure, sure, sure. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah those like roles. Dahani, if you're looking for a uh, for a uh, exit. Your your eyes kind of get fixated on that jar that's moving ever so slightly, like the is it shiny? Like the jars with goose in it. Uh, doesn't look shiny. Doesn't look shiny. Okay. Portal Town. Right. <laughs> uh, well, it it doesn't look shiny in the same way that yeah. you've seen this other. What well, we assume shiny means. Like right? it definitely looks weird, but uh-huh. um, it's it's a lab, right? It's a whole bunch of weird. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I assume everything looks kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go look at the jar. What's in the jar? Okay, uh, it is uh, sealed. Um, so if if we're if we're trying to j- j- just like look in it, you just see like a bunch of goo. Like you can't really see anything else. But it is moving um, ever so like slightly. It's like tipping kind of back and forth. Okay, but it's not being moved by hands. No. I uh, can I can I take it? Can I like pick it? Yeah. I like pick yeah. it. Um it's fairly heavy, but you can pick <laughs> it uh up. Um and you can feel if as you pick it up, you can feel like something is hitting the sides of this thing. And that's oh. just making it tip over and over. So it's like uh, something in the goo that's kind of in, like, yeah. I'm gonna bring it over to Kent. And I'm going to waddle over because it's kind of heavy. I'm going to say, hey, Kent. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Is it I think moving? something, I think something's trying to get out of it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm going to, uh, 
Actually, I don't think I want to take it from you. I think I want to, I mean, we can't see into the goo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mm. can certainly open it, but like, I look at Virgil. I don't, uh, that feels. <clears throat> I'm good feel enough. Unthought out and impulsive, and perhaps I will reconsider. I'm going to knock on the lid. Uh -huh. like I'm going like to I'm gonna tap twice on the lid, see what happens. We love that. As you knock on the lid, um, the uh, kind of the forces that you felt on the sides of this kind of stop. <laughs> and now you just feel the force on the top of the lid, like uh -huh. uh, like a something it's hitting against the uh, top. Uh, everyone give me a perception roll <laughs> sure. as well. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Eight. Oh, that was almost a one. Third oh. Time. Oh no. Big rolls, big rolls, big rolls, big rolls. Come on, big rolls. No whammies, no whammies. Not doing well. Hey, 17 plus five, y'all. The streak will end soon, but not now. 22. Salise only got a nine. I got a 12. Faye got a 21. Okay. So Gosric and uh and uh Faye uh out of the corner of your eye, uh those hands are no longer uh doing routine tasks oh no oh no oh, i grabbed no. the car they're starting to crawl towards uh, no. why did i assume they were floating the fact that they walk no. is, is so well, much worse. I, I mean they so, so they can float sure 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 um be, but but like if they're not holding anything they're just like walking on the ground yeah 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 Got it. so they start to that's so much uh, worse fo yeah. form a little uh conga line uh <laughs> Don't say that. Don't be right. this hideous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the index and pinky that kick out. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, many... so, uh, huh? No, I'm just here like, so how many. can I quickly shoot all of them? <laughs> Are they in a straight line? <laughs> I've got hail of thorns. So how about this? Um, to determine how many hands there are, do you want either I can roll it or or somebody here can roll How, how a, big a die do you want rolled for this? Now I'm a little concerned. What? A D100 of hands. I got it. Okay, yes. you know what? Please, Screw it. Please. No, 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 no. Because it could be it could be good. Yes. It could be really I'm low. So there's there's, 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 there's a Brian's chance. Gonna do, it. do it, Brian. Do, do it. it, Brian. Do it, Brian. Do it. Let the die tell us. <laughs> hey, well. 56. Yeah, there's 56. Hold on. That is low. We got 56 uh, hands that are... I thought it was are... percentile. I thought it was a percentile, not a direct number. <laughs> not a direct number. <laughs> not for 56 hands. They are slowly crawling toward the honey. They so it's not like they're... murderers. Oh. They are going, but uh, yeah, you, you uh, well, between definitely... Between 28 uh, and 56 murderers, because they're not matched hands. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You, uh, we, yeah. we can't pair <laughs> Exactly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's what uh, Gosric and Fade n n n noticed that 56 uh, hands. Buddies, uh, um, hello, hello, just so you know. Oh, no, no one looked directly at them, but they are the hands are inching towards us. Just, hey, just so we're honey. Right. Yeah, what up? Go, can you take like three steps that way? And do the hands sort of. Oh, right, because the they're following to honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, they're, and they're still pretty slow. Yes, they're 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 like very slow. Do you want to be very the slow. Pied Piper of Hand, Lynn, while we check out the uh, the rest of this room? Do you want to like <laughs> yeah. pipe around the Did room? You know class in Bard just to make that joke. You know, it's yeah. wild. All we almost let that slide, and I would have been so mad. How many times that I got immediately shut down on? It's true. Okay, okay, it's cool. Me and uh, Skipper, we're gonna have a good time. Oh. Quite. Actually, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I will, I will pull out my loot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet. I'm so happy. Go for it, y'all. Uh, yes. So, like, you're essentially trying to kite these hands around. I, the I am kiting the hands. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. Love if that's tank. what you want to do, if like you want to just travel along the perimeter of this that laboratory, is, yes, um, that is exactly what I'm. They are literally <laughs> just, yeah, they are just following you. So, mm -hmm. so like y'all are free to do whatever <laughs> else sorry. you like. Totally I will fine say that this. I will say that the force that you're feeling on the top of this jar 
is getting pretty significant. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, it's okay, like cool. something's banging on the top of the jar. Uh, jar still wants to be unjarred. Uh, not a I, good idea. I mean, <laughs> probably not, but... uh, those cone, th those cone based uh, things you were spells you were talking about, you might want to keep oh, one. Keep oh, stand by. Can oh, I? Oh, sorry, please. I was say, I've got Hail of Thorns ready, and uh, Faye has um, Conjure Barrage ready. Is there? I, I just want to know. Uh, did we resolve the Arcana check from earlier? Because I I'll make another one, but I, basically I just want to be aware of like looking at the scenario. How does this fit into Mergaxer's plan? Like like why are well, these hands do like? Can I can well, I? Like, I don't think an Arcana check is going to tell you that. Um, so cool. what I would like to help yeah. figure that out is to now finally go to these these like lab tables and look around and see if I can figure out oh, what's here and what's going without on. the hands moving around. Yeah, that's that's exactly. really smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I, can I give the help action to if if that's a role or whatever? I, I'd yeah, love to help yeah. Kent on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if, if if all you guys want to do that or if even if two people want want to do it, I'll say. Well, Tahani has that, to lure the hands away. So they're they're busy doing that. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like she, she, you know, some, somebody else could uh, take over. <laughs> I was gonna say, we just pass the. Um, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Actually, um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take the the jar. Um, I asked Tahani, is it all right if I grab this from you? It oh, would, sure. I will say, Gazer, it's a, for you, it's a pretty big jar. Um, okay. You can still take it, but <laughs> it, it's gonna be rough. Okay, no, 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 no that's fine. Um, cause I, uh, oh. I'm gonna just, uh, yeah, no, please, Brian. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 I'll take the jar. If that's, yeah. No, no, it's fine. I was going to summer skipper, put it on skipper's back, and make him stand on the ceiling and sort of like have them move around that I way. I was also thinking about height and elevation, so this is a perfect thing. Yes, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, I'll burn a summon beast spell to bring back uh, skipper. Last um, time you in... summon skipper, skipper, okay. Yeah, yeah, skipper's fine. Skipper, like most beasts that I summon, are coming from the ethereal plane where after they go they go to a beautiful farm where they just relax and frolic oh, at, oh, at, my parents upstate? told me this whenever i finish summoning a beast they just go back to the okay. farm well, and they're very as, relaxed as Perfect. skipper <laughs> materializes he looks ready to go and then he looks and he's in spider you. form in case anyone asked yeah and and then he looks and sees you mm -hmm. and just kind of drops his head and goes oh I know, oh. I know. It's good to see you too, bud. You gotta let it all go. It's nice. You can be relaxed around me. And then he looks and sees 56 hands like you're <laughs> seeing in, in a straight line. <laughs> um, and uh, what, what would you like Skipper to do? Hey, buddy. Just uh, I, I like take a, a little bit of like a cloth or rope that I have on me and I like tie the jar around uh, Skipper's back. And I'm saying, Hey man, just kind of, just kind of walk, uh, get your steps in, bud. Just uh, cruise. If you want to get up on the roof a little bit, just uh, don't let them get too close to you. Okay. Don't go out to the laboratory yet, though. Just you know, just kind of move around. Sure. Yeah, I'll say I'll I'll rule a cool it and say that it's not too heavy for Skipper because it probably would be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna say this because this is a, a dense a jar. Pretty, yeah, it's a pretty dense jar. Um, okay, okay. And there's something in it that's moving. Yeah. Um. So I'll say that if you give it to Skipper, there's definitely mm -hmm. a chance that uh could lose control of it because it be, be, there's something banging on the top. Um. Uh, okay. It more, has uh, it more has more a corporeal form. I mean, I'm totally fine just holding on to the jar. Okay. And, and Dutton. Uh, the hands are starting to move a little faster. Mm -hmm. Can I check out the table? Yeah. yeah. Great. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. What do you, you want to get off that? the ground to honey if you can? <laughs> yeah. Um, now, are are you looking for something specific or just making just a general? No, I think I'm just, just trying general... to figure out what, like, if I can identify any of the chemicals, if I can figure out what processes they're like doing here. I just want to get a sense of like what is actually happening on these tables. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, so um, so uh, as you look through the uh, lab, you see a bunch of uh, diagrams, oh. um, and they basically show um, uh, uh, a uh, drawing of a of actually a, 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 a like a pretty good drawing of just a a, a bunch of like of like uh, people and then an arrow, 
mm-hmm. and then a tube, and then another arrow, and and then you see what kind of looks like a um, for all intents and purposes, like a a uh, just a just a just a face, just mm-hmm. like a large oh. head that looks like there's like spikes kind of coming out of the top that 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 are a color red. Okay, so let me let me re let me reiterate so I make sure I didn't miss anything. So a person, and mm-hmm. then an arrow, mm-hmm. and then a tube, mm-hmm. and then another arrow. Yep. And then a head with with horns. Yes. Well, I hate it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> is okay. A person, an arrow, mm-hmm. a tube. So a person gets in a tube and then so- comes out as a floating head with horns, or they're being shipped to a floating head with horns. Like uh-huh. they move the person, like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Uh. So. Uh. So. Th- that's like one thing that that, that yeah. you see. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Another piece of paper that you can find, and like mm-hmm. this is b- because Gazrik is uh, like helping you, so you're getting yeah. a bunch more stuff. <laughs> um. You can also see um a copy of uh the uh a very long scroll. Um, that uh, as you start to read it, you see that it is mentioning uh, things that a student at Quandrix would agree to as being a uh, student in terms of, uh, you know, of uh, the right to, uh, you know, to to um, enter certain like uh, areas, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't, you don't even have to roll history. I'll say this looks very similar to the yeah. scroll that you saw in uh the dean's uh, office oh um, shit. that that they kind of pulled out and said that this was what all the students had to sign and agree to right. which is why they could fractalize them okay. like the one that uh Gosvick right. burned right. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and it and it looks like at a quick glance like it has the fractal claw like it's the same the quant now, yeah i was gonna say it's the same say, oh, is, is it, it does not have that on it because like right, that was uh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay okay does it does it have a clause for their mascot <laughs> wait what would you say does it have a clause for a clause for the quandrix mascot uh, oh, wait, uh, wait, no. wait, what, I'm confused. What wait. I am yeah, too. That, that's yeah. that's just what I want to know. Yeah. What school okay. is the I think I'm getting Quandrix and Prismari okay, mixed sure. up. Okay. Sorry. So we never went to Prismari. Right. Uh oh, I just like them because it's mess. Okay. So great. we saw the yeah, scroll yeah. in Quandrix at the Tower of Horus mm-hmm. at the Got top. It. Okay. This is a copy of that uh scroll that, that the exact scroll. Uh yeah, so the exact scroll. Cool. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Thank you. Sorry. That's what you see. That saves uh uh it trains a plot. Okay. Yep. Okay. And any of the um, alchemical oh sorry, go ahead. Uh the last thing that you see um is you see um uh actually you know what? Uh give me another investigation. Yeah. Roll. Certainly. Come on, big numbers, big numbers. Uh an 18. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um you see uh basically some uh some correspondence. Mm-hmm. With uh, Laurel Silverhand. No um, shit. Though you can't tell exactly what it is because it's kind of like encrypted. Um, but you definitely recognize that it's something that is, uh, you know, some communication oh, to and from. Lordy. Laurel. All right. Well, that's the. Fr- I mean, as soon as I find that, that's going to be addressed to the group. Uh, so you know how we thought that maybe Waterdeep was only sort of involved insofar as like they wanted a foothold and maybe they had one of the mask lords? And I hold up the um we didn't consider the open lord, I guess. Oh, oh well, God. But, but but I don't want to rush to accusing her of anything because she has spent years at this yeah. point, literally years supporting us. Yeah. So something much stranger is going on. Maybe put that in your pocket, Dahani says, walking on the ceiling, surrounded by a gaggle of hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a little spectral uh, spider moving right next to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, who has the jar right now? Is it? Um, I'm going to say Skipper, Skipper's just keeping. It... No, Skipper's oh, keeping Tahani company because Tahani, okay. like, okay. I can hold it. Yeah. Right. right. Is that uh, sound good? But, 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 but like, who's physically holding it? Me. Okay. Uh, give me a survival roll. 
Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Damn, 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 damn. damn. Everything about that. Should have been Skipper. He's meant to die. Sorry. He's <laughs> meant to die. T9. <laughs> yeah. 20. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Very great. great. Um, a bunch of these hands have gotten close enough to jump at you. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, but you just dodge them. They just kind of jump past you and kind of just land on the ground. Hey, don't get handsy. And and uh, and, and just wiggle around um, on the ground. Um, I have to. Yeah. Get you so here. you basically <laughs> get the sense that these hands are uh, starting to, uh, you know, well, 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 that some have caught up and that the breast probably will as well. Okay. Um, here's the thing, y'all. Should we just open? Like, do we know that the hand? Should we just open a jar? Also, uh, can I ask something? Is the jar important, or did we just go to it because it seemed cool? Like, well, like it was moving on its. Own. It caught my it eye. Was the but... only, okay, it fair. was the only thing that seemed, admittedly, in a hand in a room full of fifty-six disembodied hands doing experiments. The jar was the only thing that seemed out of place, and I realized saying that is very weird. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think I, we open it. I want to ready a cone. Oh, no, no. You're going to be in the blast range. I, I just want to be ready with some sort of spell. Am I, I I'm like say, ready like, to cast something. What save is Cone of Cult? Because... Con. The con. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. So, Celise so just kind of looks up at you like, give me the jar. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like, she's the strongest one and a paladin. Yeah. She can smite it. Yeah. We don't, we don't want to immediately kill what's ever in there because it might right. be useful. But, well, well, if it does attack her. Sure. Yeah, no, that's fair. I will literally walk over you and I will hand it to you. Thank you. And then I, I put my best opening a jar of pickles face on. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. As you hand it to Celise, um, you notice that one of the hands jumps on the jar. Why? No. Um, and it's just kind of pressed down on the jar. Oh, over they don't want hand? it to be opened. Is it over my hand as I'm trying to open it? Uh, I'll say it got on there before you were able to put your hand. <gasps> oh, so you're like trying to get to it. It's like, mm-hmm. ew. I mean, honestly, this could only help because you could use the hand like a gripper. As leverage, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get it by the wrist. Grab it by the wrist. <laughs> Especially so, with the finger strength that it has to like jump like that. That yeah. can get a good grip. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know those rabbit ears wine openers? This exactly. is that moment. Yeah. 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 Except it's a hand. It's, it's fine. Hand. Just yeah. it. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Oh, I'm so, sure yeah. it sounds disgusting. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fantastic. I love awesome. every minute of this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't, but okay. So, uh, yeah, so uh, if you're going to op- o- open this thing, you, like, I noticed that, you know, it's not that hard to open, actually. Um, you can oh, kind of no. get that, like, this thing has been beating at the top of this thing so much that it probably needs oh, to yeah. a lot. Didn't even put holes um, in the lid. That's just rude. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and both your hand um, and this hand kind of, you know, just kind of doesn't fly away, but it kind of gets forced. It's off, like off the top. Like when you put too much force in opening something. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ex- 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 exactly. Uh, and shooting out of this thing is a oh flaming skull. Oh! oh! And, uh, <laughs> and um, okay, well, you know, this is not necessarily a bad thing. Mm. And the flaming skull uh, kind of looks very disoriented, and 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 and, and, and like says, I, "I won't be part of any any of your experiments again." Oh, hey, we're not. That's not us. Uh, no. That's not okay. us. No, we just got here. Where's Magaxo? Oh, uh, well, yeah, oh we're trying to I find. Have our... Yeah, it's a great yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I will have his head. Okay. Well, I mean, just but you already have mind. one. I'm, I'm oh. not gonna stop. Well, don't antagonize the prison. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what is your name? What is your name? Oh, Gazrik Nomad, socialist businessman, druid construct. Nice to make your acquaintance. And when uh, were you expelled? Oh, of. We well, were. I left. I, no, I left. Uh, the frost fell at a very young age. Um, not n- no. Uh, oh no, no. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, I see, 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 see. I get it now. I, we're on a college campus. I should have. I should have gotten that. All right. 
Hi. Okay. Uh, Great. Just don't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, Dahani. Please, please speak. Yeah. Uh, yes. And God, please. Do it. Me? Okay. Let's do Hi. it. Um, oh, no. You're clearly a skull in a jar. We ah. are also looking. I'm sorry. What's your name then? I don't want to call you what you're not. I know what my name used to be. I don't know what it is yet. Okay, but what did it Vargas. used to be? That's. I'm One sorry. Vargas. Yeah, that's oh, Vargas. Vargas. <laughs> Honey, it's nice to meet you. We're also looking for Mergaxer, so maybe you can help us out. Tormenting me for, God, who knows now? Uh, years. Decades. I imagine. Even. Being a flaming skull in a jar of goo where you can't be a flaming skull is difficult. Look, if you're really not here with Margaxer, then who, who are you here with? Are you here to rescue us? Me? That remains to be seen. We're, we're you were sent by Morgaxor. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Man. We're He's here been to stopping yeah. what Morgaxor is doing. Mm -hmm. But we, have, we yeah. really need to hear from Morgaxor why he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I was just a regular student, and now I'm this. Oh, that is pretty messed I have up. A quick, uh, yeah, yeah. I have a quick uh, fourth wall question. Is this like magical flame or actual will burn me fire if I touch it flame? Uh, I don't think you would know. You could try to touch it. Uh, it, it looks, looks pretty real, it though. Looks hot. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it definitely it's looks a, like it's a talking fire. skull surrounded in flames, right? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 mm. Touching it's probably mm. Like I, I, don't I didn't know if it was magical fire that was <laughs> no no but I appreciate this this line of thinking on it though is like Morgaxer turned this person into a flaming skull. Yes. Um, can I figure out if it was like a curse? Can I reverse it with greater restoration? That is the meta question: is can I reverse it with greater restoration? And if uh, it, I think the gods are just trying to understand, can I undo this? <laughs> I undid the other thing to mm -hmm. even for a moment to the con mm -hmm. uh, Quandrix student. Can I undo this in any capacity? You can try. Okay, okay. Um, so, like, do you, do you just want to cast it immediately, or do you want to try to see if you can cast it? I want to figure it out, because I, I this is a big spell for me, and I don't... You know, I'm just going to do it. I have I've, I've other spells. You spots. do be throwing around those high spells, those high score spells, like, a lot, okay? Absolutely. Let's be uh, real. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. And why not? Because we're 18, we might as well. Uh, I will, for sure, just cast Greater Restoration on it to see if I can undo whatever was done to it, whatever curse... Was put onto it. Okay, mm -hmm. just uh, give me a second here. I can just see what we got here. So you do have to touch, uh, yeah, the skull to do it. Uh -huh. Oh, skull is on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is that what you would like to do? Um, I have to touch it, but it is on fire. Um. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna shape change into an ice elemental really fast, and then no, no, um, I, I will, I will, I will just touch it. I will. I'm basically uh, just saying that you, you are, you, you can surmise that you're yeah. probably you are most definitely gonna take damage if you do this. Yeah, that's okay. Which yeah, is yeah, fine yeah. if you want to do it, yeah. that's fine. You've been, uh, no one should be kept captive for this long, let alone be transformed into something that they uh, is not their original form. So. Uh, if this doesn't show you that we're on your side, I don't know what will. And then I uh, grip it by the cheek, uh, but both hands on each <laughs> cheeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and I kiss it on each one while I cast Greater Restoration. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, that's better than what I'm going to do. Your beard, dude. Your beard. The gods are here. Your beard might catch fire. <laughs> uh, as, as a matter of fact, yeah. Roll, roll. Oh, what would you roll? roll. Ro ro roll a con save for me. Yeah. I would love. I would love to roll a con save to see whether or not I catch on fire. And my defenses: I'm immune to charm, disease, frightened, poison, and poisoned. Not fire. Fire. And your beard isn't immune to any of it. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, you, you know how I said my streak would run out? Definitely didn't just happen. Uh, I got a four plus one. That's a five. Oh, Gosser, no. As you go to touch this. Um, mm -hmm. You notice the bottom of your beard uh, start to uh, you start to see some smoke going going off the bottom of your beard. 
Okay. Um, my hands are stuck on the skull, though. I can't. I can't pat it out in this moment. I have to finish the spell. Well, I mean, someone else can pat it out if they like. Uh, that, um, really, I, uh, I'm going to actually invoke Aura of the Guard- Guardian. When a creature okay. within you, within ten feet of you, takes damage, you can use your reaction to magically take that damage instead. Oh, okay. All right. Let, let me roll the damage because it's. Uh, Brian, roll a D100 again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, look, so, I don't have that many HP. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so that's so uh, you take 15 points of fire damage, um, which is transferred to Celise. I like look um, at my beard, like expecting it to catch on fire, and then just see smoke emanate from Celise on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, you are uh, you are able to to successfully cast this, and you see the uh, flames start to recede, mm-hmm. um, and then the uh, the uh, skull kind of drops on the on the uh, ground. Oh God! Um, Sorry, I had this prop this entire time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, once it is on the ground, yeah. the hands immediately start to jump on this thing. Interesting. Uh, no, I want to grab it. I want to grab it away from the ground. Yeah, oh, I wanted to know what the hands' reaction were when the skull popped yeah. out. Of the jar. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, like, you want to try to grab it as the hands are on, on top of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Try and okay. get the hands off of it anyway. Yeah. Um, if you grab into there, then yeah, the uh, the uh, hands are basically they're ignoring you, but they're basically just trying to cover up this skull. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, Very so, interesting. Yeah. Is the skull um, still talking? Uh, not right now. No. Okay. Um, is it still smoke? Is it still full of fire? No. Uh, so the fire has uh, receded, um, and the skull basically starts. You like see basically slowly the skull starts to reform into um of of a head basically. Mm. Um, uh, and and it looks fairly elvish. It's kind of hard to tell. Sure. Um, but uh. So you so you're not able to restore like a body yeah. or anything. Cool. Um but That's you're fine. able to but but you're able to like uh to like restore this into like a uh elvish head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just want to swat the hands off of it and like pick yep. up the heads. Yeah, exactly. Um as you're swatting the hands, um the hands are flying all over the place. <laughs> um I love it. come on, please draw this. And <laughs> You accidentally high five oh, too many I of them just, I in just, the frost. Guys, I, I I just net twenty on these. Yeah. Hands. No. Um, <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, no. No. I, I I net twenty for the hands. Oh no. No. Uh, yeah. No, that's no, what I, I said. No. Yeah. Some drama. <laughs> so no. No. It was it was a funny because it was no and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Um, as these hands are flying away, uh, they get knocked into some of these flasks and tubes. Oh um, no! These flasks and tubes spill over, and the room just starts to feel like it's filling with something. We should go. We should maybe go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Orientation. Yeah. I think we'll bring the head. Yeah. yeah. Stop by. So, what's your name now, bud? As we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already told you it was Vargas. Right. Oh, All right. right let's go, right. Vargas. Come on, bud. Never not gonna be weird. Thank Don't you. know why. <laughs> Thank That's you, Kent. Hmm. Gosser doesn't you. say anything. This is weird. <laughs> okay. So is everyone leaving? Oh yeah. yeah. Leaving the yes. I would. Was like there to... with with that investigation check I rolled though? Was there another exit that we could take instead oh. of going back the way we came? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, so yeah, we gotta go back. Uh, oh, uh, this is scary. Um, because this is filling up with some sort of liquid, right? Like it's it's. Uh, like more of a guess. I was gonna say with okay. something. So. Um. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 like not filling up with like a yeah, yeah. like like you're swimming or something. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Still go. I feel I the go. oxygen is leaving and being replaced with something else. <laughs> um, at the door, it, it, this is um, we were in a cave, right? Like the, these were yeah. tunnels. I want to mold earth to just seal. If it's a gas, I don't want it to leave. Just like if I can mold earth to make like a, at least a loose uh, soil wall. You sure can. Hell yeah, you sure can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if like everybody runs out of here with uh, Vargas now, and mm-hmm. uh, you seal it shut. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Did any right. of the hands follow us? Uh oh, yeah. Let's we'll see if if uh, anyone snuck out with you. Let's roll a d fifty six to see how many. <laughs> <laughs> d fifty six. 
<laughs> okay, uh, Mark Mir. Uh, I wrote a two. Uh, so, I'll, <laughs> so I'll say one of them step gets like halfway. I was gonna. Let's, let's, there you go. You um, want it? Like before uh, Gosrick's oh, oh. load of earth. <laughs> yeah, wishes it. Switches uh, up between my hands. Yeah. So uh, no, they're all sealed in there. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Onward. So now you can either go back up to where you came from, or you can go into the new recruits. Uh, I think we. Vargas, I feel like you might have something to say to Mergaxer, right? I'll have his head. Our, okay. oh. Do you happen to know where he is? I hate him. How long were you? Yeah. I'll Look at me. Yeah. We got it. Where's got my it. body? I, can't, I don't. You know, if let's I knew. Just, let's walk right. and talk. Let's. <laughs> Do you know where he is? Wow, that's rude, Vert. Can't. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't walk. There's only a head. Oh, no, we will he's, walk with him. He's like, being he's carried. Carry. He's the one who has no effort in all of this. That's true. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. surprised that he can talk, so let's be yeah. real. Look at <laughs> Touche. Why, wait, why are you surprised I can talk? Uh, you don't have vocal cords, so like physically it doesn't make sense. But yeah, you restored I, my uh, cords. See? Oh, okay. Oh, no. no, no we look no, up. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Can, uh, can we... Uh, 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 I've been in a jar for a really long time. Okay. I don't quite know the layout of this place, per se. All but, right. Okay. Uh, probably there. And he looks toward where the recruits area is. Mm-hmm. Right. We're going to... If it's okay with you, Vargas, uh, we're going to put you in a bag just for a moment so that you know so that you can surprise Mergaxer when we find him mm-hmm. okay is that is that okay with you i don't is yeah. that cool great so like, where do you want to put him i mean i'm happy to put him in my bag if that's cool yeah great yeah. does vargas back. need to breathe i'll leave a flap open i i doubt i don't think my rucksack is airtight I was thinking more if it was a bag of holding and what we learned about bag of holding and putting things in it than you That does seem like a bad recipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. So yeah, Great. he's uh he's uh sec- secured away. Um so you wanna walk in the new recruits area? Mm-hmm. Yes. Sure. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, this is probably where Mergaxer would be because Mergaxer needs to see the if they're bringing in new people, they should probably go see Mergaxer first. Mm-hmm. As you walk further and further in, you start to hear kind of a uh, a a chant, basically. Um, as 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 you walk further into 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 the cave, mm-hmm. um, it sound sorry language. Can we understand it or just chanting sounds? Rhythmic. Uh, it kind of sounds. It's like chanting, like uh, yeah, yeah, like a l- l- like a monk chant kind of. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So 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 it's not quite words per se. Sure. I'm thinking of the one from Finding Nemo. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I was just thinking about the opening to Conga. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, oh, like, oh, I was thinking oh, my way, favorite Gregorian oh, chants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Zach. Exactly. They're they're just like singing like the Halo theme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, as as, uh, as as you walk down, um, you uh, the, then the cave op- op- opens up, and you just see a bunch of folks sitting in 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 a cross-legged pose and in the middle you see this uh really really short uh bullywug um with a staff uh oh, that is also kind of sitting there uh with his eyes closed and they're all chanting together um i'm gonna reach in the bag and whisper to vargas um Okay. It's weird, right? It's so weird. It's weird. You have to. It is, it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something, and I need to know if it's more Gaxer. But you. Ha- you cannot go try and take his head right now. Okay. There's a lot of people here. It's not gonna go well for you. Okay. I, I think you might can't be hear muted. What you're saying. <laughs> actually, I have no idea what you're saying. Sure, if, like, we can't hear oh, you. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, he, he. Yeah, I think the uh, the, uh, the uh, too much like, whispers. Too much whispers. Yeah. <laughs> The noise game. I like that. I like that. Yeah, too much whispering for the game. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, he uh, whispers. Yeah. Um, 
I've been in a jar for a very long time. How do you not expect me to take his head as soon as I see him? Okay, well, well just wait then. I'll push him back. <laughs> you know, honestly, there's easy jokes that we could make here, but we're not going to. No. Just going to go ahead and assume that's where Gax is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Brian. A little backstage <laughs> chat. <laughs> um, uh, what would you like to do? There's, there, there's a group of folks. I'd, I'd say there, there's about 10, um, 10 people that look... Kind of similarly dressed to the um, mm -hmm. quote unquote guards that you saw outside. Um, and uh, you see this bullywug mm -hmm. in the middle. Uh, I turn, I want to turn to the group and be like, uh, it's like, all right, everyone huddle up real fast. Um, Faye, I know you're <sighs> new here in at least in these huddles, but I appreciate all the help that you provided in this setting. But um, this is now. Do they know? I turned to uh, Celise. Do they know about our other responsibilities in Waterdeep? Oh. Yeah, she's one too. Huh. Actually, I almost put two and two together. You are the exact same gate as the person who sits four seats from the door every second Tuesday of the month. So that makes sense. Um, then this is important because the open lord <laughs> may or may not be involved in in business that is not good for water tea. Or rather for me, as I would like to say, and maybe for you all, uh, ways that do not support how an open lord should behave. Hell, even the closed masked lord. No. So what are you saying we should do? I'm saying we stop apologizing as we enter spaces. When have you known me to apologize, Gosrek? Mm -hmm. uh, frankly, you're right. May we, If you want, we'll follow your lead in this space because uh, diplomacy has uh, been beneficial to us, but I'm angry now. I'm mad. I'm I'm upset, and I am confused whether or not our friend is betraying us. Is she or, our friend, though? I thought so. More than Mert, anyways. Ah, right, guys. We can still make a laugh. <laughs> no. Okay. As Gosric, uh. This guy's are laughs. Uh, <laughs> you know, it kind of resonates through the cave. Yes. Oh, no, my what I'm saying. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was just, it was just the, you, 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 were, you were at the focus of an ellipse, and it just went right over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, my uh, God. Geometry weakness. now. Awkward yeah. silence. That's as, <laughs> soon, as soon as Gosworth's, Gosword, Gosrick's laugh starts to uh, resonate, I would like to turn invisible. <laughs> wow smart okay. smart uh where, where, where did she <laughs> and then you hear uh the bullywug in the middle which i will link to in the chat uh Wait, say to see him welcome 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 it's been a while since we've had new people here uh you don't look like what I was expecting, but it looks like you already gathered uh, weapons from outside. That's good. You seem very proactive. <laughs> uh, we were just finishing up our chance. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm very, very sorry for your experience at Strixhaven. Um, I know you're only here because you had a bad experience there. Trust me, all of us have. So you're here amongst friends. Um, amongst brothers and sisters. Um, and uh, I'm just very happy to see some new folks. Um, and uh, I believe that Kent is holding uh, the bag, right? I am, so, yeah. So uh, uh, make a uh, oh, no. strength save for me. Oh, <laughs> as, no. oh. As, uh, you as a Vargas is hearing this voice, <laughs> I mean, Vargas is uh, hearing the voice of his uh, tormentor. Uh, I rolled a five try. on the die, which makes my strength save a four. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Honestly, okay. we love that. We love that. For I mean, tell yeah, me, yeah, yeah. tell me what, tell me how you fail to keep uh, Vargas in this bag. Yeah, uh, I think I like as soon as Morgaxer starts talking, I like immediately clamp down on on the bag. Uh, but then as Morgaxer says, uh, uh, "You're a, you're among brothers and sisters," uh, Kent gets distracted and goes, "Well, now wait a minute. We should we should be gender inclusive here. We're among siblings," and just sort of loses track of the bag. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. Like. Uh. Vargas kind of tumbles out of. I, I'll say. That, that 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 the, that the bag kind of like falls on the ground. Yeah, totally. Uh, Vargas kind of you know can see, uh, like uh, Magaxer and like I said, oh, no. you. Oh, I will have your head. Ugh. Uh, and then Magaxer looks at like uh at like at like you all and says, "Who are you?" We're um, the rivals of Waterdeep. I would like to stunning strike him because <gasps> yeah. I've been moving. Yeah, I'm yeah. really watching you go. Okay, so where 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 have you moved? Like right in front of him? Like Behind him. him? Where are you? Behind, Behind him, him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can get one. Oh, hit and off. that's a sneak attack. Mm. You can get one hit off. If, like if I was a rogue, could you pick one level of rogue? Get into it. <laughs> I thought Monks got that um, too. I was wrong. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's uh let's strike and everyone else can roll initiative. Oh god. But okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be uh some some damage. He's gonna need to make a constitution saving throw of where is it? Yeah, um, nineteen. It's don't eight plus proficiency. Plus yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wisdom, um, right? yeah, but give me it. Da, 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 da. He does not make it because my yeah, DC, gosh. my DC with my magic item is a twenty-one now. Yeah, so he does not make it. God, if right. ever we forget what badasses we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so what, uh, what happens? So yeah, no, it's like so. He's like, "Who are you?" And then Gossip's like, "We're the rivals of Waterdeep." <laughs> and then he's probably gonna say something like, "What the heck are those?" But he doesn't get to because he just kind of like freezes up. No, it's it's literally like a judo chop to like the side of his neck. It's yeah. so cheesy. And <laughs> but at that moment, I become visible and like I hit him in the uh the pressure point, and he just kind of like like freezes up. He's only frozen for like a round, but. He also takes 14 points of damage. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so it takes 14, and he is stunned now. <laughs> so uh, that basically means that uh, everyone has uh, advantage with their mm. attack rolls uh, against Morgaxor, um, and he can't move. Um, Boy. Uh, well, can everyone else tell me their initiative roll? Yeah. Uh, Five. That's my number. That's wow. all I'm gonna roll since I got 20 pluses earlier in the episode. I'm only that's rolling. Right. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> that's that's the Gosrick balance. We understand. <laughs> Kent's got a 12. Nice. Okay. Uh, Let, uh, Latia uh, appears from the ethereal plane and got an 18. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Just for the roll. <laughs> Just for the yeah. Roll. Yeah. roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh 19 okay. for Virgil. All right. Ooh, don't we have to match off? Uh, mm. Yes, who has the highest? You can have it. Um, okay. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. You no, go. You go. I mean, you yeah, could I'm just fine. do it away if you want to. That's, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, that's fine. All right. <laughs> okay. And. Okay, so. Maxer has a 17. <laughs> and I'm going to roll for these other folks sort of mm -hmm. all at once. The other ten. I did forget about the ten of her sitting here. I, in my head, I was like, "Oh, there's there's a lot of individuals here." Uh -huh. It's fine. It's yeah. not. Uh, they sure, roll it's fine. a uh, twelve, uh, but since they don't technically have dexterity, I will put them above you, Kent. Oh yeah, that's fine. And folks, okay. So I uh, so 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 yeah. So like as I, as I said earlier. Mark Axer is stunned. Um, rough. Can still attack. 
Uh, well, actually, no, can't take. Can't take actions uh, or reactions. Okay. I think. Yeah, and we all, we yeah, get a, we all get an advantage. Take actions or reactions. That's correct. Um, and we all get yeah. advantage this round, right? That is correct. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So, uh, Solis. Oh, I'm going in with the Holy Avenger longsword. Mm -hmm. Um, that is a disgusting plus for it. Uh, I'm gonna roll once and see what I get. Do we want to kill him or do we want to not? Do you want to question him? Let's see what happens with my dice rolls. Hey, all right. With, with Salise and Virgil to do at the top of the initiative order, <laughs> let's see how this goes. We'd have to do a lot to like straight up like murder, murder him. But like, I mean, he could be unconscious. Then I, I can do a um, little magic on him. So the first one is a thirty-one. Hey. The other is a twenty. A hit. A hit. A thirty-one. A thirty-one and a twenty-eight to hit. Damn. Okay. Yeah, both hit. Um, and I am doing smites on him, which would be a searing smite just because mm -hmm. at fourth level. So, so both of those hit. Um, so 2d8, and then I'll roll my searing smites. That's 14, 11. That's 25 before the smite. And then I'm just going to use D and D Beyond for the Searing Smite. First one's fifteen. Second one's sixteen. Wow. Oh. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so thirty-one. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, and as a bonus action, I would like to rage. Oh, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> Why I said that? <laughs> what? Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like that voice, though. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I should have made that the uh, voice of Vargas. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Flaming skull comes out. Okay, kind of cold immediately. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. All right. So, anything else, Solis? Uh, oh, wait, Fenris can go. I almost forgot about my fluffy companion. Yeah. So... Yeah, because you technically don't have to roll for him. He'll go after you. I mean, the initial turn will go after you. So. Right. Um, he's going to bite. So hopefully... Oh, what is it? He only gets one attack, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, does an 11 hit him? Uh, no. Uh, Fenris like reaches over from behind me and tries to like do a chomp, but misses. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a sad little like. Arr! Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. love it. All right, Virgil. Um, I think Virgil's just gonna roll out first with uh, keeping it simple: a lightning bolt attack. Oh, oh that's simple. Yeah, love, love it. Low level lightning bolt. It's not yeah, a big one yet. Zap, zap. A small zap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zappity zap. Um, what's your what's your what's your DC? Oh, it's a dex save of eighteen. Fine. Sorry, DC. Yeah, DC eighteen dex. Yep. Hold on, I gotta read. Uh, oh no no no, <laughs> Dahani's Dahani. No no, there's no. You're not affected by those. Oh, that's um, right. You can make it so that I'm not right. Rivals yeah. rivals are VIPs. They don't get affected oh. by my spells. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, yeah. Uh, fails. <laughs> nice. Fails. Um. Okay, then that's yeah. That's just gonna be. Oh, that's oh. a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh, twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, lightning damage <laughs> is done. Um, it's it's in a line, so I'm not sure. I I didn't get like mind's eye yet on placement, but it's it's basically arcing towards towards him and skipping any rivals in its path so i don't know if any of his other flunkies are in the way but that's mainly toward toward them mergaxer are you aiming just at mergaxer or are you because because like more so like mergaxer is kind of like in the middle of this like you know like oh these folks well <laughs> well 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 I mean, technically, the others haven't done anything. So I'm just aiming at Mergaxer. Yeah, like, 
you know, if anyone had the wherewithal to notice the right. sorcerer right. throwing lightning at a direct straight line towards Mergaxer, I'd right. hope yeah. maybe duck to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just a little, a little, a little. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's mainly attacking wearing axer with that. Okay, great. Uh, Dahani. Hi. Um. All right. I guess I'm just gonna hit him again. In the old one, two. Old one, two, three, four. I was gonna say, it's, uh, it's gonna be quite a bit. Yeah. No, I forgot <laughs> monk, monk numbers, right? Right, monk numbers. All right, so these are all... Uh, Dahani is still very conflicted because we've heard different things about Mergaxer. Uh -huh. like, mm -hmm. So Dahani is going for non-lethal damage because she kind of wants to hear what he has to say, mm -hmm. but she doesn't want this fight to last long, so she's still going to hit him four times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's a 16. What is his AC? A 16, you said? Yeah. Uh, oh, does it? Um, we can re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that. Nice. You have four hits, you said, right? I do. It's a 17. <laughs> okay, that that does it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that hits. That does not hit. I can't re-roll that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that hits. So that's still three hits. Okay. And right. so roll, roll I get down. to one, two, three. So that is a wow. That's a grand total of 27 plus eight, 35 damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll spend the, the, the key point to make him do another con save. Yeah. All right. What's the... The DC is 21. <laughs> All right. Another... Oh, actually, let me look at the modifier. Because uh, it's close. Uh, 25. 25. He makes it? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Hey. Incredible. Incredible. She's I, impressed. I actually got a... Yeah. I got a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah. After failing uh, everything else, he didn't make that. Uh, hey, but isn't he stunned? The way, no, would it, I think he anymore. he would have been stunned until the end of my next round. So at, after this, he will be he will no longer be stunned. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Um, and realizing that, uh, Dahani is going to uh, back away. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, so good damage so far. Yeah, awesome. Gaxer is up. Now mm -hmm. um, he kind of days himself. He's 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 been uh, sliced. He's been smited. He's mm -hmm. been uh, uh, electrified, mm -hmm. um, and he's been just you know beaten mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Dahani twice. Mm -hmm. um, and he uh, looks around and like uh, says, "I'm just trying to save you." Um, and wow. then he, uh, uh, mm -hmm. he, uh, uh, tell me about your orientation. Like where are, are y'all kind of close to each other? Or are you uh, spread out? I know sorry, that these like, so kind of came in a little bit close. I know that Dahani. <laughs> right. We, we came into up. the, we came into the room and mm -hmm. how, okay. When we came the entrance to the room about how far from that were the people ringed around? How far from the entrance were they sitting? Close, 40 feet, 45 feet. Okay. So I just want to know if, if like, y'all separated at all since this. With since the exception or, of Dahani, I don't think of, we did. No, because we had the huddle. We kind of had the huddle. Dahani, yeah. Dahani mm -hmm. did the thing. So Dahani was behind, and the rest of us, our trajectory would have been straight on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's uh, what, what I figured. Um, Okay, so uh, he is going to sort of look at a uh, point that is sort of nearest to uh, sort of the center of uh, where you are, um, and he's going to throw his staff forward, and basically all you're going to see in front of you is uh, a burst of searing blood red mist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, excuse and, me. And... <laughs> uh, you gotta pass a uh, con save of seventeen. Oh, 
Con. Okay. I just Ooh. thought we were going to get fireballed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll what? take the damage. I, I Do I want to know what? The... Con save of 17. Jacked. Oh, that's... Do I have... I'm going to use inspiration. Remember you get... Oh! It's oh, back. That's good. The Gosric luck has occurred. Nat 20, baby. <laughs> we get oh, plus wait. what from Celise? Two on saving throws. Okay. So... I got an 18 in that. Okay, 18. Yeah. Hey. Hey. 30, 20 for Celise. All right. Trying to roll for Faye right Mm -hmm. now. Woo. 21 for Faye. Wow. Okay. So everyone passed. It sounds like. Uh, What what, what did he throw? What did he fling at us? Yeah. yeah. Uh, So this is a spell called Blood Boil. Yikes. Um, now, now you do still take damage, uh, but you are not incapacitated, uh, which Oof. is done to all of you. Um, so let me roll that damage really quick. Uh, I misplaced my details. Okay. Ugh. Or eight. Four. All right, so everyone takes uh, 35 necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, everyone. That, that's the oh, thing wait, that's wait, most troubling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, half of that, so oh. uh, 17. Wait, um, I am I a, unable I'm, to get... I'm, un, I'm immune to disease, so should I take any? It's, uh, it's necrotic damage. Necrotic? Oh. Mm. I, I Never mind. mentioned about resistance if i have resistance in a crowd does that matter when taking damage from it yeah yeah if if uh, if uh, you're resistant then like you take half of it hmm. okay so i'm take taking half, half of the half i'm taking half yeah, of the half exactly. so i'm taking so eight, be, eight so or eight, nine yes okay be, well yeah eight we'll just round okay. 8.5 uh you know <laughs> you i'm putting point 0.5 like in here and it doesn't like it <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you, 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 you like have to ent- enter it as a mixed number. That's if you have, eight and a half. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> um, or an improper fraction, guys, as well. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, everyone, uh, passed that. That's great. Uh, all right. So, um, and then as a, uh, as, as a, uh, bonus action, what? um, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. What? Yeah, because I remember I'm uh, kind of amping this up a little bit because we're higher level. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We love it. So yeah, so he uh, reaches into his, uh, you know, he he like has like a little you know pouch on him, mm-hmm. right? Um, so he reaches on his pouch, um, and and uh, you can basically see that he pulls out something that uh, looks pretty shiny, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, oh no! And he kind of presses it onto himself. Oh! And he's gone. Ooh! Ah! Uh, so like you just see like kind of a a ghostly image of himself, and 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 you see him departing. Or that ghostly image of himself is departing. Mm-hmm. Ghostly, grab him! Uh, mm, ooh. <laughs> Can Fenris like try to grab him at all or no? Uh no. This is similar to how when you would Watch. Yeah, so when you would transport, you would see the person that transported oh, kind of uh-huh. into a oh. yeah. like misty um, step. Uh if you misty stepped into another Yeah, this is another dimension ish kind of thing. Back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, Can I <laughs> I'm gonna do something funky. Can I make a quick arcana check to see if I can figure out what plane this is? Uh, you can after because 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 we still got these ten folks here. Okay, mm-hmm. I keep forgetting uh, about these poor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So, um, we are at uh, Faye. Yeah, Faye, thirteen. Say. I'm sorry. I was trying to do. I was trying to multitask. Forgive mm. me. Um, Faye. 
Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. So um, so as as a miner, there's like ten uh in individuals here. They they are lightly armed. Um yeah. and at like at like this point, they are no they they are they are no longer sitting in a circle. They are like sort of, you know, mm-hmm. up and uh ready to defend their leader who is just uh left without them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awful oh. for them. Yeah. Uh, we will protect you, Mark yeah. Gaxer, to your last breath. Where'd he go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're basically kind of looking around like that John Travolta uh, meme. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, want to defend gonna... themselves. Um, are any within phase reach? Uh, Faye could move and get in their range mm-hmm. for sure. Oh, she's going to use her whip. She's going to use her two Hellfire whips then. Okay. And sure. just kind of like go one, two, whoever's closest. It's a 10 foot range. Mm. Okay. Uh, Road hit. All righty. Hopefully they're squishy. Mm-hmm. Um, a 23. And I can never read a nine or a six. And a 16. Do those hit them? Both hit. All right. Sadly, the whips only do D4 damage. They look really cool. Yeah, they the do. Whips. They're very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe we can those... just talk these guys down, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, she doesn't like aim to hurt them, but she like basically yeah. wraps. She she does like an ivy from Soul Calibur move. She like wraps the whips around two of them and kind of pulls them like to the ground so they're prone. She doesn't aim to hurt them because it's only four points of damage each. Mm. So she just basically wants to get them out of the fight. Yeah. yeah. As they as they hit the ground, uh, they start crying. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, yeah. They start they, crying. Maybe let's not. Mm-hmm. Um, and she just is very confused. She's like, I just dragged you on the ground. I didn't actually hurt you. They start crying, and the others are shaking kind of similarly to how the three guards at the swamp. You didn't play too much entrance. Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh we're uh shaking as well. Um so y'all could either I mean you could either keep going or you or you could break off. Uh but it is their turn, the 10 folks. Uh because they rolled a 12. Mm-hmm. Um how do I put this? They are basically gonna start running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Good. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they are just running around this room uh, with their hands up, screaming. Mm. Uh, um, if uh, they kinda, do that, ca- ca- kind of Kermit style. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. not attack- so they're not attacking you, mm-hmm. um, but they do see that you know, like to get to the exit, they have to like run through you basically, and they mm-hmm. don't want to do that. So they're kind of just running, you know, uh, around. Oh no! What is that again, Shreve? <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Time, I appreciate it. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. Times uh, ten. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. times eight, because remember, uh, Faye has two of them tied. Right. Well, they are on on the ground, like. No. Yes. Still. <laughs> oh still no. Still flailing, they're flailing and crying and wrapped up by whips. This um, is just a lot for them today. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, Kent, uh, have you gone? Uh, no, uh, we should. Can, we should no. Nope, so continue to be last initiative. on the initiative are Kent and Gazer. You yeah, guys could yeah. definitely continue to wail on the guys, or you could no. If it's my turn, to I'm gonna say coming. I'm. Is, is it my turn? Is it Ken's turn? Mm-hmm. Yes, Ken's turn. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna say, y'all, let's let's look. Go home. What Strixhaven did to you is messed up, but so is this. This is so, a cult. This is a cult. The this is the cult. This is the cult, guys. I, help! I'm uh, call. What is the T-shirt? Call your dad. You're in a cult. Go home. <laughs> Just go. Mm-hmm. Don't come oh. back. Don't do this what, again. Wait, wait. Just leave. Nope. Wait, where? where? I, what do you mean? Wh- yeah, oh, that's no. a where do we go? There's nowhere for them to go. Our families have abandoned us. Mm. Have you ever thought about making jokes? Okay. Milk. Have a seat. Wait, making jokes? Is that different? Wait, hold on. Building jokes. Yeah, sorry, the vernacular is different. It's not very <laughs> About to set up I a competing should... joke industry. I know, now. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Competition breeds innovation, baby. <laughs> I think we should just give them to the biddies. The biddies will know what to do with them. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah. I don't. 
feel good just giving people to other people? Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That for right now, spirits, not us, them. And mm -hmm. one of you, raise your hand if you know where Mergexer might have gone. You're like turning into a teacher? Like, <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm flashing back. <laughs> So like the, before they're, I was a field archaeologist, I like TA'd some classes. They're cult, they're indoctrinated, they're probably yeah. very obedient, especially in a group. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Do, it's just do, about they, the confidence. They, they, they do sit in a nice like, gr 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 gridded <laughs> order, like except for the two that, that are tied down. They um, right? let them go. Uh, okay, they, she feels they, bad uh, for them. They they uh, join them in, in, a, uh, in, a, in, in, in a nice two by five. Uh, oh, kind of. nice. Um, the dream. And uh, they, 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 they basically say, please. Oh, oh, ra sorry, raise your hand. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> please. Um, yeah. If we show you how to follow him, yeah. can you promise that you will defeat him? Oh, uh, defeat him, huh? So you all are not here of your own volition, desire? Hey, where else are we going to go? This is the only yeah. place that will have us. But you want us to defeat him nonetheless? Yes. Because? He's bad. <laughs> we thought he was good, but he's bad. Okay, and he's that's been... sort of what we're working with too, so it's good mm -hmm. to hear it confirmed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And then f f four other hands shoot up. <laughs> <laughs> you with the cute pixie cut. Okay. Um, I have one request. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I saw that uh thing in your bag. Um, it looked really similar to something else I saw. Uh, maybe about I don't know uh 70 years ago um oh it looked God. like actually a uh, someone i used to know did you know a person named vargas no last name given just like prince just one name mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> but he but he joined us here and disappeared a while ago well... where did you find that <laughs> kind of point towards the lab okay uh can, can i be excused to go to the lab I wouldn't uh, actually. Um, yeah, we. It's not in great or at all safe shape, mm -hmm. as far as we know right now. What would you like to get from there? Well, Vargas is the key to being able to transport. Oh, oh, hey, 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 V, hey, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I just got so I, I got so worked up that I just kind of passed out. So yeah, no, look, uh, happens to the best look, of us. The last time I got a new clothes, I did the same thing. I get uh -huh. it. Um, what now? Oh, oh, your friend's here. Say hello. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, whoa! I don't want you to see me like this. Whoa. Oh, sorry, uh -huh. sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, and 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 then the uh, let's call her. Uh, uh, let's just go to simple names. Mary. Call her Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mary. Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she, Sorry, she, 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 she says, uh, were you like in something? Like, were you like, was there any kind of weird yeah. liquid or anything? He's in a jar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, well, wait, yeah. From what I remember, y'all didn't bring the whole jar, did you? I, I thought I you just brought. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. If we remove yeah. the curse, and I don't recall us bringing the jar. I think we just sort <laughs> yeah. of well, we'll yeah, we'll we'll just assume that that uh that you did not bring the jar. Yeah, great. Um but uh but uh, he uh, uh Mary 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 says, Do you mind? Um and then Mary kinda um puts her hand on um Vargas's uh uh you know this this great reformation spell, restoration spell, pretty amazing. So, mm -hmm. like, there's some hair going on here. Um, he was bald so, before. It even did a little Rogaine. I know. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Like, from, from flaming head to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of hair. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's more so, hair than head. I actually love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, 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 uh, Mar- Mary actually takes mm-hmm. like kind of like rubs her like hand in the in 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 the hair, and then rubs her hand on the ground, and the ground starts to get real, real shiny. What mm-hmm. we're gonna have to talk the. Uh, and then, and then, like Vargas says. Well, he's always talking about, you know, me being really important and being the key to being able mm-hmm. to go places that we couldn't normally go, but I don't know what he's talking about. You like word about was a plane with hey, not yeah, yeah, a yeah, thing yeah. about that up till now. Not at all. Why would I uh, leave with that? I'm a skull on fire and you freed is... me and there's hands trying to keep me in the jar. We did reskin a skull. There are other things. That's there's hilarious. a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got jowls Especially again. Do you know what that's you. like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to be clear, we're gonna we go with we touch that and we'll be where he is. Mm-hmm. That's where he is, yes. And you all are gonna hang here. You might need to come with us so we can get back, but the rest of y'all are gonna hang here oh. and we'll be back and we'll figure out what's up for you all once we've let's be vague and say dealt with Morgaxer. Yeah. You mean kill him? There is a non-zero chance that that is how we will deal with him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You must hurry. <laughs> okay. Because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think your town is safe. Oh, see that? Oh, really? I hate. Oh, that is already gone. gone. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got to go. We got to go. Come on, Vargas, help us out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the swan. Like, like, yeah, just, the swan. Yeah, I missed. Just, I, don't, oh, I don't know how it works, but just dip a toe in. I don't yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as you touch it, you just. Yeah. <laughs> um. Is uh uh what's it called? Is Mergaxer still in line of sight from us from where we were? Like, do we know the direction he ran? Uh, have, have are are you all going through this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. oh, yeah. Especially yeah. after that. Safe, I'm, yeah. I don't even make an insight check on that. I'm just like, no. yeah, we got to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and you're bringing Vargas? We have uh, to, right? Is the yeah. only way in it. Yeah. Probably I mean, now it sounds like we're going to water deep, so it actually matters less, but I would still like to bring him with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very sweet. Yeah. yeah. Someone yeah. getting their revenge. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, everyone goes through, mm-hmm. um, oh. and you are um, outside of the. Uh, Building joke building. Okay. Any sign of Gaxy? Ew. Gaxy, is it? Yeah, more Gaxer. <laughs> what you call me? Yeah, um, right. I'm so sorry. I heard it as soon as I said it. I'll never do it again. Yeah, and the building joke building um starts to get oh, no. taller. Oh really okay. strange. It what? looks like it is what? Growing. No, let's are we inside or outside? You're outside of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should go in. Uh. Yeah. Jocko, was this in the lease? <laughs> uh, hmm. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> that 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 was a joke. I know you didn't read it. No, no, no that's, your, that's your DM, like, forgetting that Shaka was here. Yeah. Uh, 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 until he said it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he was in the initiative order, but you know it's all good. It's he, all good. Um, he got a three. He would have gone after God. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly right. yeah. <laughs> he got a point five. So yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely in there. Um, yeah. So um, so the building, Joe building, and just getting mm-hmm. taller and taller and taller. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really weird because it looks like it's kind of like a growing. Uh, oh no! You can best. Think are his arms? No, oh, no. it's becoming a construct. Oh God! And uh, after it's done, uh, you see Mergaxor on top of a Damagoth Titan. Oh my God! A what? Oh my God! I know what that is because because I play Magic: The Gathering, and that is a dangerous. Dangerous creature. <laughs> oh my yes. god. So oh the my building joke building has transformed into this thing. Yeah. Uh, that is an impressive picture, is all I'm which gonna say. Is it is about 64 feet tall. Just the least. Uh and Margaxor is on top of it. Mm-hmm. Uh and we're gonna keep the same initiative order, y'all. Yeah? Uh, start with me then. Help. 
Uh, it would actually yes, yes, yes. Okay. We, Wait, what? Cause, yes, because because like a Kent's action. Kent's yeah, was the last thing to happen theory, in the yeah. initiative what, order. Was yeah. was what was to hold a class? That was his last. It's a, it's a little <laughs> meta commentary. I never got a turn, and I just wanted to comment on it. That, 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 that's all I that was. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, okay. so we start right at the end. Gazer, shoot, uh, Gazer goes, what? Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, well, no time like the present. Um, and I cast on a um. Mm, I cast on a uh, sunburst, an eighth level spell. Um, and uh, brilliant sunlight f- flashes in a 60 foot radius centered on a point you choose within range. Each creature in that light must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 12 d6 radiant damage and is blinded for a minute. Um, if they save, they aren't blinded. Um, and undead and oozes have disadvantage on this throw. Is a demigoth titan undead? Uh, I don't think so. It's a fiend. It's not it's undead. It's a fiend monster. I don't think it's undead. Okay. Um, um, still casting it. Uh, the const the the save on this, I believe, is nineteen um, for Constitution. It's a, okay. and that's I, I want to center it on the top of the demigoth uh, uh, titan. So it hits Mergaxer as they're sitting on top, and this dude. Okay. Failure. Yes. Oh, sorry, Ken, uh, you described what happened again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, Gazrik says, all right, all right. We're in the middle of the day. Let's do this. And he um, points up at the, uh, like, sun, chants something really quickly, takes a piece of firestone out of his beard and crushes it, and then moves his finger down. And as you see his move his finger down, a literal beam of light follows it, and it, like, hits the very top of the demigorgon um so it, it blinds both over uh on the eyes and uh, the demigorgon and demigoth and uh mergaxer okay. all right so that sounded good all right so uh before we go to the top of the order uh which would be back to Selice. um because you know we 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 we, we are near the end and mm-hmm. we're not going to go too far over Mm-hmm. Um, but basically what like, happens is this large thing, which has like Mergaxer on it, right. Mm-hmm. Um, starts to, um, doesn't really seem to react much to your, uh, spell is like just kind of, kind of like sitting there. Um, you mm-hmm. also do notice the, uh, the, the, the building joke building illustration that, uh, Dahani, uh, drew is also kind of hanging off of it as well. Uh, cause this is the building. Mm-hmm. Um, and what you see now is um you see from the sky you see a uh what only can be described as a uh bluish uh turquoise 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 ish is that mm-hmm. a, is, is that said right turquoise ish turquoise ish um, turquoise ish like turquoise uh dragon oh like, wild 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 Oh, also, I, I just rolled damage. Um, uh, 37 to both the Mergaxer and the Titan. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So Mergaxer falls off. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. He falls off. Um, Titan does not look like they are responding, though. Um, uh, this dragon flies in. Um uh, not a dragon that, that you've seen before, um, but at the building, joke a building, you know, as has happened all over the North Ward, uh, you know, these fractals have kind of been, you know, everywhere in the ward. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fractals just look up and point. Um, and this dragon ah. comes in. Uh, and this dragon oh. just starts to just... Uh, Tan is here? Destroy this Titan. Oh, man. Um, and because of time, I can't go into all the fun stuff that they're doing, but I will say that what they do is they, um, as soon as they uh, come in, they, um, basically teleport. So, so like, so like they, they like fly right close to, to the Titan and then teleport away. 
mm-hmm. and then the Titan gets pulled upward um, and basically kind of look kind of looks like it's being folded into itself. Oh my god! Ooh. Um, it's like imploding almost, right? Yes, it, it's, yeah. it's 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 like kind of getting like wrapped up into itself. Um, can I stand over Mergaxer's uh, body on the ground? You can. Yeah, yeah. Just while all this is happening, um, are they unconscious? What, what's the situation look like? Uh, and that was a long call. No, yeah, well, that's they're motionless. My, they're motionless. Uh, are they yeah, dead? Uh, that's that's the bigger part. If, uh, yeah. I mean, you can check a pulse if you want. I'm gonna uh, check a pulse. I'm gonna check a pulse. Check, check a pulse for me, guys, because I yeah, got yeah. I got steal his soul real quick after. There you go. Just a quick <laughs> medicine check on that. That's a pulse medicine check. Uh, you know what's great? Nat twenty on my last roll. This is a big old two. Natural two I'm plus so five, wild, seven. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can make a pretty good educated <laughs> guess that he from falling from sixty four feet after being hit by all those attacks that you previously did to him, that he is he is fast. Oh, mm. okay. I'm going to grab uh, his a fragment of his soul and make a little... He had that weird-looking staff in the art you yeah. sent us. Did he have that? Uh, Not in his hand still, no, because he fell uh, But he had it when he was attacking us, right? That's how he attacked yes. us in the room? Okay, yes. so his little... My little soul trinket charm of his will be... Will look like that staff. Very cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <clears throat> yeah, um... So uh, this dragon mm-hmm. doesn't say anything, right? Um, it's just kind of like, uh, well, d- does anyone here say anything to the dragon? I would say, first of all. You stole so our kill. Just looking at you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't, I, are you taking it here? I am. Oh, cool. Where is been? the one? Oh, the, uh-huh. uh, that's what, yeah, that's what I was place. concerned about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to go retreat? Do you want us to get real quick? We've sort of been waiting for mm-hmm. some form of this for a while now. I think he's probably ready. Where? Uh, wait, uh, I just point at Troll Skull. No, that, that uh, we will walk you there. We will yeah, walk you there. We gotta walk you there. Respect. We've just worked really hard yes. to like clean this place up mm-hmm. and tr- get them to trust us and mm-hmm. promise that we'll warn them when ancient dragons are gonna come running through town. And now we got to deal with this crater that we just made in the middle of our town. Not great. Last time yeah. We also, a crater, they got real upset. Sorry, True. Shaka. Sorry about your building. So, so yeah. the building, I hope you your had building. Yeah, so, so the Bill and Joe building is no did, more. You know he didn't. Aww. You know he didn't get insurance. You know he did. He, I, I don't have to roll. That's a quick yeah. uh, uh, Did I remember to pay insurance? Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oops. Yeah. So um, so uh, as Tanzir is flying toward uh, the manor, um, I think we're gonna leave that a bit uh, oh. unresolved. Ooh. Oh. oh. What we love a little. We love a little. Uh, that's very that's fun. That's how we're gonna end uh, yeah. end our season. Oh, um, oh no! Yeah. Hey, we're us eight, holding hands eight, with the with, dragon as we're with, walking it yeah, through our town. Yeah, uh, uh, with with some unanswered questions here. Um, yeah, you know, be, because it. because we didn't get to answer everything, but that's cool because that's how seasons go sometimes, and it leads something for uh, you know for mm-hmm. if the next dm wants to take off they take mm-hmm. off or see stuff. all of us hoofing out like tanis are not even not even giving us right. a second glance and all of us yeah. are hoofing it yeah. now. Yeah. It's like to Hani, who's like very casually strolling yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm flying him over the city to troll skull because right. like like everybody else is just like yeah we'll go and then i'm just like it's this way and i've got wings <laughs> and i will fly you i love okay. it okay so uh we got some news y'all um yeah. huh? also congratulations <laughs> way to go yes oh, that's well done oh my God. well done yeah. that's not bad in this. everything wait wait I, I i thought that was the news like me being like congratulated that was the good news thank y'all all right peace. Literally yeah. not part of your contract so <laughs> no <laughs> okay. yeah so um that is the end of season 13 y'all which means that as the end of my uh brief foray mm-hmm. as dm um uh most importantly though uh we will be back yeah for season 14 everybody we will Can't have another season of rivals of water deep um with a new dm uh and that dm will be <laughs> drum roll, uh tanya to pass yeah. 
Uh, hey. Coming back to the GM chair. Leading us once again, and we're so excited. Uh, yes. T- t- Tanya, thank you so much for agreeing mm-hmm. to uh, herd cats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we uh, promise we will do better than jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't promise that. Wow. So we so we don't have a date yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but it but it will be in the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. j- j- just be on the look at look out as we announce that. And we don't want to spoil too much, but mm-hmm. uh might be headed up up and away. What could that mean? Like like the like the Christopher Reeves Superman, like the best Superman that was ever on screen ever, like that one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, so oh, okay. I'm here for that. is actually just gonna we're we're all going up with yeah. Tanazir to somewhere. You all didn't see yeah. Tanazir's uh, S-shaped crest on his chest <laughs> as he arrived. On Tanazir's dimension, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for hope. That's it's right. For hope. That's right. <laughs> okay, we do have more to say, though. We do have more to say. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, our next big announcement is, it's a big deal, it's it's a lot, and uh, it announces a little bit of trepidation. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an exciting change for Rivals, it's changed our production structure. Unfortunately, well, to begin with, Wizards did make Rivals Wardy possible since it's too many eyes back on June 1st, 2018. Shout out to Greg Tito, mm-hmm. who Woo. reached out and uh, made this possible. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still not recovered. And we're very, very grateful for all the years support from Wizards, from the community. However, the sad part, Watsi has decided to support other projects and we'll no longer be funding the rivals as of the middle of next season. So starting with episode six, we are fully independent. Mm-hmm. Um, as you can probably tell, we're determined to continue our tales of Sleece, Shaka, Dahani, Gosric, Virgil, and Kent, and Fenris, and Faye, and whoever else we drag along with our merry party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we'll be finishing our full, full 10 episodes in season 10 without interruption. Mm-hmm. Past that, though, the future is a little bit uncertain, make it a lot uncertain. And that's hopefully where all of you come in, and Masood is going to tell you how you can do that. Absolutely. You know, the Rivals crew would really like to bring this iteration of the Rivals of Waterdeep to a satisfying conclusion. We're level 18. We've become these awesome adventurers over the course of our time together. And if must discussion, we thought the best way to do this is to have 16 seasons, allowing the Rivals to reach and play at 20th level for the full 20 episodes. So in a few seasons, we're planning on like another level, and then we're full 20th level adventures who can stop us and what will come to stop us we will only find out um but in order to make that happen to bring those stories uh to a close um that when they're at the top of the adventure game i would love to do uh let us sorry that would bring the stories to a close when uh we are at the top of the adventure game and will let us do something that very few long-running actual play shows have done show off what a 20th level campaign would actually look like yeah but in order for that to be possible uh in order for us to be able to continue our show at the level you've all come to expect as you guessed it we need your help and we have been pushing the patreon lately we would <laughs> still absolute i mean you know what look i push the patreon That's a lot right. okay yeah. y'all are sick of me talking about the patreon i know um but we'd love to have you all hop on that train take advantage of the really cool perks we provide those dm notes those after shows But right now, the monthly Patreon income that we make is not enough to fund the future of the Mm -hmm. Rivals of Waterdeep. And we realize that sometimes it's a lot easier to have a single donation. Um, It feels easier. It's better to, you know, do that versus something that's recurring monthly. Um, So do keep an eye out. Um, Ahead of our next season, we're going to be launching an Indiegogo campaign to fund the back half of season 14 yes and go on to seasons 15 and 16 Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. we're going to have more details about the campaign our goals information on rewards uh once the campaign goes live so do keep an eye out on our social media for news about that coming ahead of our next season Mm -hmm. we are kind of nervous about all this tanya tanya said that earlier it's a big change for us 
Uh, yeah. But we're really excited to start flying solo as we as we enter what really is this cruise end game. Mm -hmm. um, we should say we absolutely cannot thank all of you enough for showing yes. up to the yes. live stream every week, watching the VODs, mm -hmm. listening to the podcast, subbing to the Patreon and the channel here, signal boosting our tweets, everything that you all have done for 13 seasons to make the rivals a continued success. We wouldn't have made it this far without you all. Um, you know, uh, we hate to have to ask, but we're excited um, and hope that we can count on you all again uh, for these last few seasons so that we, the rivals, can finish our venturing careers in style as the 20th level badasses that we've become, saving mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. What they said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I love you. Yeah. What a thing. <laughs> I mean, this is a big move, y'all. Yeah. Um, and we're looking forward to everyone's support out there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, try to get it so we can finish at this 20th level and yeah. bring rivals to a close on the top. Like, that's I know, awesome. yeah. you know, most campaigns, you know, we don't, I, I think sometimes to think long picture, uh, we know how our, we want at least the story of the rivals um, at what point we want it to come to an end. And we're really excited about also sharing that with all of our fans because the folks who've been following us for so long um, from 2018 for the stream of many eyes um, to even folks who maybe just hopped on this season, we want to give you the conclusion that you deserve um, and that you are owed. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, don't have time for questions today because we had a lot going on, but yeah, let's just do some really, really quick outros um uh in reverse order starting with tanya um if my voice holds out <laughs> i'll be DM dming actually two games uh one on tuesday over logitech g for creator spotlight uh brian will be joining me along with milady confetti and giselle mm -hmm. from logitech g don't know what we're playing yet that's for the rest of my afternoon is going to be <laughs> um and you know knock on wood if i'm able to i'll be at flame con if not i'll be at home but saturday regardless of where i land i'll be uh gming a one shot as part of digi pride again with brian eugenio milady confetti imperial uh xander genre and that bronze girl and it will be hey. all to benefit trevor project unless i'm wrong Fuck yeah. um and yeah, so whether I'm home or in New York, wherever I wind up being this weekend, we'll be doing that starting at, I forgot what time, but we'll tweet about it. So <laughs> see you on the internet. And I'll be playing a lot of Cult of the Lamb because we're at day 69 in my cult and we have to keep going. Nice. 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 <laughs> Sorry, we're, so, we're all awful. We're all awful. <laughs> no, 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 no. I made a clip. Someone clipped that. I immediately put it on. <laughs> <laughs> We're on day 16, everyone was like, nice, 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 nice. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyhow. Hi, everybody. I'm Okenyo. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and here on Twitch at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, pre standard week coming up for me. Uh, I will be joining the Cult of the Lamb bandwagon on Tuesday. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Thursday, Earthbound and Elden Ring. Uh, and, oh, and not back here on Sunday. Okay, sad. Uh, but we'll be back soon. Uh, other than that, my podcast, The Last Refuge, uh, is in our interstitial episodes before our final season. So you can check that out. Uh, I think that's it, right? Probably. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then so. the games that, that Tanya talked about at the end of the month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brian. Um, yeah, actually, mine, uh, because of the games, I'm going to be in. Um, sorry. Wow. I did the whole thing wrong. I'm at Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere. I just say that because that's where I'm going to say stuff. Uh, but I won't be streaming this Tuesday, or maybe I'll do like a tiny pre-stream ahead of our um, of our game on Logitech G's channel uh, with Tanya running me, Milady Confetti, and Giselle. And then uh, you will see me on the DigiPride D&D &D one shot on the 20th. And um, also Saturday morning, I'll be doing my own thing. I don't know what it is. It'll probably be Call to the Lamb because that game is it's hot, hot, hot. Uh, it's, it's hard not to play right now. It's really yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like I was and playing. It's on everything, I was right? playing while we were playing D and D. I, I must. Uh, play. Uh, and then yeah, an Animal Crossing next Sunday, and no rivals of Wonder Eve next Sunday. Uh, I will, I will miss it. But you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna have a fun break so that Tanya can figure out what her shenanigans and possibly revenge will be next season. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, soon. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-B-O-I. 
Um, I'm kind of winding down a little bit right now. Uh, Rivals is coming to a close. I was doing Gen Con, which you can watch the VOD. Uh, I, in, it's on the Gen Con TV, but also our Patreon will be uploading it soon and then also be on YouTube. So you'll get a chance to check it out. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff in for like the theater world in Chicago, but I, otherwise, that's like not, you all don't care about that on the internet. Um, I'll tell you more about that sort of stuff and I'll keep you in the loop. Um, about any upcoming uh, streams and stuff that are occurring for me. I uh, would love to hop back on the Rivals channel once things in my life calm down a little bit um, and maybe do a Cult of the Lamb Rivals run. That could be fun. Uh, Cult of the Rivals. Cult of the Rivals. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to support me and my stuff, uh, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Marudway, M-A-H-R-U-D-B-O-I, and go listen to uh, Stool Pigeons on the Trident Network right now. Uh, we did an excellent run over on the I Need Diverse Games channel, and all that's been converted into podcast form. So you can go listen to that where and, uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. Tia. Hi. Um, everything that I'm doing, you can find out about on my Twitter, uh, at Latia Jaquise. Tomorrow, however begins a familiar quest season two yo, starring yo, yo. <laughs> that's why I, I wasn't gonna say anything because i had to say it so mm -hmm. uh i am uh, hopping in the dm seat for this season along with my wonderful players uh Eugenio, gabe uh and montgomery um who's the, uh michelle yeah, uh michelle michelle and bradley, michelle and, bradley <laughs> and uh special guest hope lavelle so uh that's gonna be real fun i've got some fun stuff planned for them and uh it's just gonna be shenanigans so yeah. all it. of our new familiar forms which include a horrible fiendish cat called a gramishka uh, yeah. a swarm of quippers <laughs> Uh, a giant seahorse and a giant seahorse are available in Idol Champions now, and they're real cute, y'all. I really, I really just have to say the the familiar selection for this is great because now I have to figure out how uh, how water familiars are going to survive in a land <laughs> environment. Uh, we'll figure it out. It's going to be great. Can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and I'm Sharif. I've been your DM. Uh, just check me out at Sharif Jackson socials website all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's been a great season, y'all. Um, looking forward to the next one. Um, and everyone uh, will be raiding. Uh, who are we raiding? Kelly. We'll be raiding Kelly. a geek. Uh, yeah, so make sure to stay on um, and uh, check out her stream as well. Always a good time. And with that, y'all, we will bid y'all adieu for the next couple of Sundays. Uh, uh, be on the lookout oh. for season 14. See you all soon. Bye. Bye. We'll miss you. <laughs>